You have your earnings out just a short time ago. I think congratulations are in order. You exceeded expectations. People thought you'd come back. You'd come back more than people thought. Give us your perspective on what drove that. How much of that was General Motors and what you're doing at General Motors? How much of that was the economy and some of the massive stimulus that's gone into the pockets of Americans? Well, thanks, David. It's great to be here. And, you know, really, when you look at one of the key reasons was the GM team members. Uh, they have done just a phenomenal job across all areas of our business, working and demonstrating their commitment to the business, also priced, prioritizing safety and following our safety protocols. And that has been a key ingredient to driving this very successful quarter. I would also say it's on the, de uh, the strong demand for trucks. Uh, a couple of years ago, as we started to roll out our new full-size trucks, we talked about the fact that we were going to cover the whole market, um, both from a value perspective, but also from a feature perspective. That strategy is working out extremely well, and we see very high demand for our full-size pickups uh, at all levels, but especially in those high-end pickups with the AT4, for example, with the GMC. We also continue to have very strong cost performance, not only the specific austerity measures that we took because of the pandemic, but also the work we'd already been doing as part of the transformation. And then finally, GMF uh, performed extremely well. So all of that coming together, I think uh, our products, uh, the discipline of the team, and uh, our, just our focus on costs is what allowed us to have this strong quarter. Yeah, Mary, as you say, I looked at your waterfall chart there carefully, and some of it was price and some of it was cost savings, so well done. You have it balanced. Let's talk about trucks. They clearly powered you. You've talked about them for some time now, your pickup trucks. Do you have enough of them? Can you produce enough? What are you seeing in demand? Uh, we're seeing a strong and growing demand, uh, and right now we're building every truck we can make, but I think uh, very shortly you'll hear us uh, taking action to how we're going to uh, further our capability to uh, to build more trucks, because we the, what we see is the demand continues to grow. We think the shift to trucks, especially with uh, the luxury trucks, the premium trucks that we're offering for both GMC and Chevrolet, uh, that that is going to be a continuing trend. Uh, so, Mary, uh, you talked about the safety of of your colleagues at General Motors. Is the coronavirus at this point inhibiting at all your ability to produce enough product, enough trucks? Well, you know, we've worked hand in hand, not only with all of the GMT members, and I'm just so proud of the way everyone is following the safety protocols and staying safe. And I think they're even in many cases taking them home. Our employees tell us they feel safer at work than they do at a grocery store. And I think that's, uh, that speaks to um, what we're doing and their commitment to, to following the protocols that we jointly developed uh, with the UAW and uh, our peers across the industry. We've shared all that with the supply base, and uh, that is allowing us to continue to um, make sure we have the parts necessary. It's, it's a very dynamic situation, and we just work to address each situation as it occurs. But right now, uh, really pleased with how the team is, is being creative uh, to keep, uh, keep our ability to build as many trucks as we can. Mary Looking out into the future, you have been consistent in saying an important part of the GM strategy is electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles. Give us a, a little bit of insight into that, particularly as we are now waiting for a result on the election. Does it make a material difference to your strategy whether we have a Democrat or a Republican in the White House? Because they have very different approaches to things like fossil fuels and green energy. We are 100% uh, committed to EVs, and we're working to accelerate our, our EV transformation. I think some of the examples of that are the GMC Hummer EV, the Cadillac Lyric, and then the Bolt um, e EV as well. We also just recently announced a multi-billion dollar um, manufacturing commitments at Factory Zero in Detroit Hamtramck, the Ultium Cell um, LLC in Lordstown, Ohio, and then just most recently at our Spring Hill assembly plant in Tennessee. So we've got the manufacturing capability. We have great vehicles, and we've got the expertise and the technology with Altium. Speed is vitally important as well, and that's why we're working so quickly. So regardless of who wins the election, we're going to continue um, on a rapid pace to transform to, to EVs. Uh, Mary, you mentioned the Hummer EV. A lot of people out there are excited about that Hummer EV. How many orders, pre-orders, have you got so far? Our, the demand has well exceeded our expectation. As you know, this is a very premium um, entry, so we're incredibly pleased at the strong demand, and uh, you know we'll continue to monitor that as we go forward. And so, Mary, it's not just electric vehicles; it's also fuel cell. You announced a deal with Nikola. As I understand it, there's a deadline on that deal in December. Where are you on that right now? Do you expect to go through with it, and will there be material changes in the terms of the deal? 
now we are in ongoing discussions with Nicola um, regarding the transaction. The transaction has not closed, and so we'll provide further updates at the appropriate time. But I think what's important to note is our uh, fuel cell technology, the hydrotech hydrogen fuel cells that we've developed with Honda, they, um, they are industry leading, and that's from external sources. And so we're going to continue to look for ways to not only um, commercialize our, our fuel cells, but also the Altium battery platform, because I think that continues to advance our zero emission future. Finally, Mary, briefly, do you expect a continued rebound in 2021? What are you looking at? You know, a lot depends on um, if, if we across the globe get the uh, coronavirus uh, under control and we know what we need to do from a safety protocol perspective. So we're hopeful that uh, we'll start to make some progress there. Obviously, in the United States, we're monitoring if there, what will happen with additional stimulus. But uh, if those factors uh, stay, uh, if we get the virus under control and other uh, elements stay on track, we think we can continue the recovery into 21. And definitely, we believe we'll continue to see strong uh, full-size truck uh, demand.